We're taking two of America's most popular comfort foods, chicken fried steak and biscuits and gravy, and we're bringing them together. We're gonna make this chicken fried steak slider coming up right now. Here's what we have for ingredients. Now, traditionally, chicken fried steak is made with cube steak, which is a top sirloin cut that's ran through a grinder to tenderize it. It has all the little holes in it. But I was at the grocery store and I looked down and it was just like, oh, look at these ribeyes. They're pre-cut nice and thin and ribeye is a much better piece of meat than top round. So in this recipe, we're gonna use ribeye. So here's what we got for ingredients. I got buttermilk biscuits here. Buy whatever kind of buttermilk biscuits you want. I've got peanut oil. Peanut oil typically has a little bit better flavor than other oils for frying. For our batter and for our gravy, we have our standard flour, we have buttermilk, I have some milk, uh, baking powder and baking soda. Those two agents are gonna help give us that nice crust on our steak, and then I have one egg. For our breakfast gravy, I'm going with breakfast sausage, which is pretty traditional. I'm also gonna throw in some linguisa. The linguisa is gonna add a little extra depth of spice and flavor. That's why I'm gonna use that. And then for the star of our show, our nice thinly sliced ribeye. For the first two things we're gonna do, we're gonna prepare our batter, we're gonna prepare our dredging flour. Say that five times fast, I tell you. For our batter, you're gonna throw the egg in. We're gonna put our flour, a little salt, a little pepper, a couple pinches of each, baking powder, baking soda. We're gonna give this a mix. Throw in the buttermilk. And we're looking for a nice thick consistency like pancake batter. So you'll keep adding as you go. No clumps, nice and smooth. That's it. So in the same container that the steak came in, I'm just gonna take the flour and I'm gonna put it inside there. I'm gonna add the salt. I'm gonna add the pepper. We always season our flour and just give it a mix. At this point, you're asking yourself, the guy has a ribeye and he's gonna make a slider with this, right? We got biscuits here. Look at the size difference, right? So what I did, I went to the store, I picked up some biscuit cutters. You can also use a ring mold, but I found these two, these are gonna work out great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna cut little circles. Keep in mind they're gonna shrink a little bit, so I'm hoping that this size right here is gonna shrink down to be the perfect size for this biscuit. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna get two out of both of these, each piece, so let's cut right here on one, and we'll do the next. Do not waste your scraps. This can be used for many different things. Uh, gravies, just cook them like this and eat them as a snack or something. Just don't waste it. All right, so as you saw, my handy dandy little biscuit cutter didn't go as well as planned, but we improvise, and that's what cooking is all about, improvising. So just put your ring mold or your biscuit cutter and go around the edges with the knife like you just saw. Here's how we batter up our beef. So, into our flour, we're gonna make sure that all sides are coated very well. Into our batter next. That batter nice and thick, beautiful. Get all the sides very well. Back into the flour, I'm gonna use my opposite hand because I don't wanna get my hand all breaded. Dredge it, place it. And we're gonna do that to all the pieces and just have them ready to go for the fryer. Now we're going to pan fry the chicken fried steak. All right, we're gonna place our oil into the pan. You wanna have enough oil in the pan where when you put the meat into the pan, it's gonna cover the meat just about halfway up. Oil is nice and hot. We're gonna slowly place our steak in and drop away. Let that get nice golden brown, few minutes on each side, and then we're gonna set onto a paper towel.
Now we'll place on our paper towel off to the side. Just like that. So once all your pieces are fried, we're gonna dump most of this oil out. But see all this remnants here? You wanna save as much of that as you can. But dump most of the oil out. Most of our oil is dumped out, but we still have those nice little bits of flavor in there. We're gonna go ahead at this point, we're gonna add our sausage to this. We're gonna saute both sausages down. What we're doing is we're rendering out all the fat from the sausage because we're creating a base for our roux. Sausage is nice and rendered down. See that nice fat that we have there? Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna sprinkle in some flour on this, just a little bit all over. We're gonna make a, a roux. And this is the starting of our breakfast gravy. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. I want it to suck up most of that fat. And then we're gonna slowly temper in our milk. Go nice and slow, vigorously whisking so you don't have any clumps in your gravy. slowly add. So whisking, 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 adding a little bit at a time so we don't get clumps. Let the cold milk and the hot, hot roux come together slowly. All right, once you have all your milk incorporated in there, we're gonna let this come up to a, like just under a simmer and we're gonna cook it at that temperature for about 20 minutes until we don't have a gritty floury taste in our gravy. Always taste as you go, add salt, pepper it now. If you wanna have those nice tiny little bubbles right there, keep your temperature on a real low, or like I said, 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, this is the consistency you're gonna have. This is a beautiful, nice, thick pan gravy. The moment you all have been waiting for, now it's time to assemble our chicken fried steak biscuits. And that's how you make chicken fried steak biscuits, sliders, call it whatever you want. Sexy!